Hey, B. Oh, hey. How's it going? Oh, I don't know who's more stubborn, that dog or your brother. Hmm. He's always been like that. Once Connor gets his mind set, it's a lot of hard work breaking a canine. And one that hates men, forget it. Hmm. Have a good run. It's been over a month. There's not much more I can do for him, you know. And as my mentor once said, sometimes a bitch just not a fit. He's not a quitter. You're gonna have to push him to win or push him to walk. Yeah, I thought I picked up on that. Boring! Either way, Connor can handle it, but you, you gotta commit. Hmm. I saved you the crossword. Cheers. Really boring. Any word from Steph? She's always been closer to Chloe. Hey, Chloe, huh? Any word from Steph? Still camped out in her office, my guess. Working on that block. She'll come up for air soon. It's been a while. <laughs> That's nothing. She disappears every summer. Speaking of, did you see they found that girl's body? So tragic. Almost as tragic as what those guys did to that guy in, did to that neighbor in Levittown. Oh, where was it? That high school girl who got suspended, which, as a Jew, I can totally sympathize with. I didn't know you were Jewish. <laughs> oh yeah, not that I don't believe in God, I do, but separation of church and state, very simple. Who's up for pyramid? And the thing is, there are only stories out there. Ronnie, right? Fiona. And what gets told, and why? Because, I mean, I look out my window, and unless I'm wrong, there's a lot that's not being told. Brand new set of cards, right here. No, you get it. Play with me! What? I know you don't want to talk about it, but you haven't said anything. There's nothing to say. So Harvey's really going? Taxi will be here any minute. That's today? Oh, babe, are you... Okay. No. I finally meet a guy, and, well, what am I supposed to do? He knew what he was getting himself into, and so did I. Maybe there's something we can do. I mean, Chloe, it's the reserves. Stage a protest. Get them to listen. Sweetie, no offense, but protesting is dead. This is the new millennium, where the will of the people has been put on black sender. That's too cynical, even for you. You can't dismiss it, not all of it. It's gotta count for something. Protesting? Look at what the hippies did during Vietnam, right? They kept protesting, and it took a while, but they were heard. They ended the war. The war didn't end because hippies were protesting. The war ended because we were losing. Okay, maybe not protesting alone. That's the truth. Okay, so they had no influence. Not, no. They made good TV. All right, and then I mean, this is going to sound whatever, but what's the point of having democracy if we don't have any say? We have a say. We're not silence, okay? We're not China. Wow! That close! Okay, we have to acknowledge the fact that we vote for a president, for a congress. Fair enough. So we have a say. Some have a say. That's what I'm getting at. That the governments that are elected are made up of rich white guys. Thank you. Who have a vested interest in protecting their assets, whatever those assets may be. So why? That's ridiculous. All different kinds of people make up the face of the government. Why can't we just vote them out? And replace them with who? Oh, well, obviously it's blind black lesbians. <laughs> Oh shit. I totally took I totally forgot I told Helen I got these clothes in about noon. Oh, one week what? No, I gotta take the six up to South Bronx. Remember? Neil's committing his mother today and he needs me to cover the phones. Right. Besides, so he was tossing and turning last night. We should get some rest. You know what? Hard not to. You'll probably be going oh, by the time uh, night. She won't let you, but take care of her anyway. Oh, good, you're still here. How'd it go last night? Don't ask. Veronica! What was last night? Raymond stayed over. Again? It's great. Harvey's been helping me with... Just advising. Advising me with... No, oh, God, he hates me. My boyfriend hates me. Veronica! I can't blame him. I used to dump girls for a lot less. Don't sleep with me on date number one, you're out. And this is... I mean, I've stopped counting. Really? He's really patient. He just wants to get closer, that's all. He wants to get closer, and I can't... Hey, I thought we talked about at least letting him give you a blowjob. <laughs> I did. Twice. But whatever, that's like hand-holding to these guys. But what about you? Did you blow him back? I 
just got used to letting him put his tongue in my mouth. Now I'm supposed to. Of course you're supposed to. Have you? <laughs> Not telling. He keeps talking about how hot I am, how I turn him on, and, you know, specifics, like dirty words and all about stuff he wants us to do together when I'm ready. Stuff I never even did with girls, cause, right, I didn't even know you could put that there. 